thank you for watching this video uh, in this video uh, we're gonna do uh, a couple of things we're gonna convert uh, Quicken QFX file to QBO that's the QuickBooks format uh, so certain banks they may not have a QBO file format they may just have a QFX file so you need to convert to QBO file in order to upload to QuickBooks Online or upload to QuickBooks Desktop. So that's our main focus in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so I've already uh, downloaded a QFX file from my bank. So at this point, what you need to do is convert this QFX to QBO. So the website you need to go is, as I said, it's QBOConverter.com. It's uh, QBOConverter.com. That's the website. And by the way, we're not affiliated with, with this uh, website, or so you have to do it uh, at your own risk. Uh, so, so all you have to do at this point is, as you can see here, and you need a, a Google Chrome browser to do this. Only so you have to open your Google Chrome browser and go to uh, QuickBooks QBOConverter.com website. So, so at this point, all you have to do is uh, drag this and drop the file here, right here. As you can see here, this is successful and it's downloaded in here. You'll see two because I've done this two times. So all I have to do is now then just drop and put it back in here or just download and uh, save it in your uh, uh, drive somehow. So it's in here. It's pretty quick as you can see here. So here's your uh, QFX file. It's already converted and you're ready to import this file to QuickBooks Online also to QuickBooks Desktop. Okay. So now I have a QuickBooks online open so this is your home page screen and in here you have transactions left navigation bar click it here and banking okay uh, and as you can see here uh, is file upload is right here upper right corner it will say file upload file upload and just click it here and it goes through some process and browse it and this is the one we want to upload. Let's click it here. It goes through some steps. Just hang in there, right here. Okay, at this point, you have to select your account. So I'm going to select this A checking. Okay. And uh, next, I'm going to pause it for a while. Okay, it took about a minute or so. It went through circle. And uh, once it's done, you got this message. And just say click uh, finish. Okay. So now, as you can see here, uh, under transactions, your banking in a banking center, it's all downloaded in here. All 52 transactions. At this point, all you have to do is categorize, and uh, uh, that then it will post to your QuickBooks. So now, let's get started with the uh, uh, desktop one. Okay, here's the desktop one. So in desktop, what you need to do is go to banking menu. So this is for desktop. We're done with uh, QuickBooks Online. So banking in here. And underneath, you'll see bank feeds. And you want to use import web connect file. It's not, your account is not sync or anything. You just want to use this to import that file. Connect here. Okay. And open it. It's right here. The file is right here okay and open it and uh, you'll see so see the screen like this and you just want to select your account uh, if you don't have account open then you have to create a new one so I already have account open here so this is the account I want to use and say continue it should be fast as you can see here okay right here it's already done it's for a transaction list and just wait 
right here. It's all downloaded. So that's all you got to do. It's pretty quick. And uh, uh, so now, yeah, here's our website. You can visit our website, newqbo.com. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you need instructions, steps here, these are the steps. I'll this open, leave this open for a few, few seconds. And uh, thank you for watching. Come back again. Bye.